Hey guys, welcome back to another Checkpoint and Chill, and you won't believe it, we're playing Flicks and Chill. So this is twice the chill? We're really chilling out tonight. Um, yeah, Flicks and Chill is like a little dating simulator type thing. It looks really hilarious, so I'm really excited to get into this. Um, Flicks and Chill, let's do it. I'm ready. Let's press the little play button, which I presume we're supposed to do on the remote, no? Um, ah, play the original, Jason and Marta. Okay. Marta. Jason and Marta. Marta's a Spanish name, right? Marta. A Portuguese or something. Okay. Um, what do I do? A game by... Wait for it. Wait for it. Jason Lovett. Well, he's making a game about love, and he's called Jason Lovett. So let's see, um, how we do. Okay. Right, we're starting off our day with a bit of... Music, some chiptune music, flicks and chill, let's do it. I'm so ready for this. This is, this game was made for this series, for this show that I do on the channel. Okay, so this must be, um, that's Jason. I wonder if this is based on Jason's actual experience, like the developer's actual experience. Oh boy, my Nintendo date will be here super soon. Man, I hope it goes well. You seem to have forgotten your face, bro. You should probably head upstairs and find that. Just need to get a few things set up. Like your face, hopefully, or your inverted arm? It's kind of bending the wrong way. Oh, can I control him now? Oh, I hit my mic there. I'm sorry about that, guys. Maybe it's like a point and click thing. Okay, I can click on the TV. All right, Netflix is a go. Now all we need is the chill. Where do I find the chill? Is it over on this couch? This very cubic looking couch? Looks very sharp. Oh yeah, we can put the lights down there. Chill lustrious. <gasps> That must be my debt! Here we go. Oh man, does my hair look good? Do I have something in my teeth? You look fine, dude. You don't have any teeth. Yeah, I don't have any teeth. Phew! One less thing to worry about. Imagine going on a date with someone and finding out they don't have a face. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. Here goes nothing. Deep breaths, Jason. Deep breaths. Just another person, just another person. She can probably hear all this on the other side of the door. Uh, do it. There she is. Oh, hello. That's my Marta voice. Hello there, welcome. Oh, uh, hug. It's gotta be a hug. Oh, um, cool place. Wow, she denied the hug. What are you talking to yourself a moment ago? I told you she'd hear. Um, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, you heard that? Guess I get a little nervous on dirt. That's okay. I'm a little nervous too. I talk to myself all the time, especially when I'm nervous. My god, my voice is breaking so much. And she sounds like Maria. Huh, you too? Well, glad to hear I'm not totally crazy. Well, come on in. In she walks. All right, this is going well so far. All right, now what do we do? Come on, Steve. Let's turn this music off. Oh, does that mute all of it? Um, what should we watch? A superhero series. A new superhero series just came out. I figured we can get into it together. Whoa, whoa there, Jason. We only just met. What? Let's get to know each other a bit before deciding to make a commitment like that. We're just gonna watch the fucking Avengers, dude. Jesus. What? It's not like we're getting married. All right. I'm not sure if she's my type, honestly. She's a bit of a... She's got a bit of a stick up her ass, hasn't she? Right, let's turn the music back on because it got a bit awkward there. Ten minutes later. Wow. This is awkward as all, as all hell. This is terrible. Sir, uh, I just realized with these movie dates, it's kind of hard to get to know the person, you know? Can I agree more? So what do you say we have a conversation, move on to something a little more interesting? What do you say we have a conversation? Have a conversation. Heh, <laughs> conversations are always nice. What do you want to have a conversation about? Let's have a deep intellectual con uh, discussion about society. Uh, okay, that's a pretty broad subject there. Have you anything more specific in mind? Um... Oh, what are your political views? Well, I lean Democrat for the, uh, Democrat? Democrat for the most part, but aren't we not supposed to talk about politics or something? One of the seven sins of dating? Um... Uh, to hell with what we- yeah! To hell with what we should or should not do. I prefer to just do what I want. Oh, I like your style, eh? Hey. hey, we got in there. Ha, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. 
I just feel like we have all these hidden societal rules and regulations that are not productive for society. You can't talk about this or you can't offend these people. It's censorship. Wow, you're really quite passionate about this, aren't you? Uh, yes. Gotta be assertive with Jason here. I think most of our troubles in the world can be solved if people would just hear each other out, discussing things. That's what makes a democratic society, you know? Can't argue with that. Hey, this is going really well. Hey, what do you say we head to the bedroom? Oh, no, play a game. Okay, what do you have in mind? Let's play Truth or Dare. Good, this is so awkward. <laughs> what is this, sixth grade? You chicken? Yup, we don't have to if you don't want to. Yup, we're gonna say yup. Yup, have a thing against 11 year olds? Ha, huh. um, no, but I'm pretty sure dating them is illegal. Had to go there, didn't ya? Ha, huh. either way, you're going first, kiddo. Truth. Or dare. Fuck, let's try and press her straight away with a dare. Dare, huh? Glad to see you're not a wimp. Hey. Okay, I dare you to. Yes. Hold on, trying to think of a good one. First thing that comes to mind. I dare you to do your sexiest dance. Ha, huh, you're jerking, right? Why would I be jerking? What? You scared? Uh I don't want to scare you. Oh shit, here we go. Jason, you're up. What is my sexy stance? Hammer time, moonwalk, tw twerk. We're gonna twerk that shit. Ha 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 ha. OMG. Oh uh, yeah. You are so funny. What can I say? But I was born this way. Ha, huh. hold the applause, please. This is really enthralling and thrilling. Ha, <laughs> that was amazing. Why, thank you. Okay, your turn, Marta. Truth or dare? Although I wouldn't mind doing a dare, gonna have to go with truth since it's already steamy enough in here with that dance you did, huh. Okay, bit of a weird response. Um, okay, my question for you is, what's your biggest fear? What do you think of me? Make a move, oh my god, what's your deep- what's your biggest fear? We're not gonna say what do you think of me, or whatever. What's your biggest fear? Hmm, good question. Probably being stranded out in the middle of the ocean and being devoured by sharks. Okay, you could have just said sharks, or being stranded in the ocean. Um, like what situation are you gonna wake- Look, that'll wake you up someday covered in wrinkles. Yeah, but what, what situation are you gonna wake up in the middle of the ocean? I- I- I don't know. Okay, uh, living off the welfare of my children and grandchildren while they secretly wish that I just hurry up and- Holy shit. That is- Yeah, that was oddly specific. Ha. Huh. Yeah. On that note, let's get back to the show, huh? What fight you there. So we played True for Dare and we had one, like, one round each, essentially. Thrilling, truly. You can feel the, the chemistry. Oh, is that hand getting a little close there, Jason? Hey, it's been nice, but I think it's about time I left. What? So soon? What the fuck? I thought she was just gonna walk straight out. Yeah, I'm just, I have some laundry to do. Uh, okay. That's cool, I understand. It's been fun, have a good night. You too, Marta. What does that achievement say? Denied? I was just being a nice person and letting a guy- I couldn't be like, No, you stay here. You stay in my house. I couldn't just be like that, could I? I think I played it quite smoothly there. Might call me back. The- uh. Well. A modern day Romeo and Juliet, honestly. <laughs> that was- Wow, I could feel the sparks flying. Okay, um. Should we quit to menu and try to do a different one? Because there's like a bunch of different ones, I think. Um, oh, do I have to sit through this again? I think I must have to, like, do different ones, because there was zero for the original, right? So what about one? Trevor and Samantha. Okay. Oh, was that already one? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do Trevor and Samantha. Let's do it. Okay. Um, okay, I think this is the place. All right. Now, where is my date? Dang it, I should have asked for more descriptive pictures. Shit, we don't know if it's a dude or a, a chick. We don't know. Hi, um, are you Samantha? Uh, she's called Samantha. No, go away. Oh, I thought that was a dude. Uh, okay. Is this Samantha down here? I think this is clearly Samantha. <laughs> hey, Samantha. She might have had, like, a sex change, but not changed the name. I know what you're going to ask. Uh, you do? And uh, no, you can't touch the beard. Definitely not my date. Right, well, is this Samantha? Is this Samantha? 
Hey there! Oh, um, hello! Um... Wow, you're stunning! Oh, that's so sweet! It's good to meet you in person! Wow, you're way prettier than you sounded on- Wow! Uh, you have the wrong chica, Essie. Yeah, it's her. It's hair stood on the table. Why would I just walk straight up to her without asking if it's hair and say, Wow, you proper fit there, love. Jesus. <laughs> hey, you, Samantha? Yep, that's me. Oh, thank God, finally. Uh, who were those people you were talking to? Um... I thought they may have been you, to be honest. I thought they may have been you. <laughs> oh no, I really should uh, update my okay stupid profile picture. Yeah, it would have been helpful. Hey dudes, let me know when you're ready to order. And if you need any help. Hmm, let me think. You order first. Okay, let's check out the menu. Okay. Um... God, which one do I want? I can't even- What is that writing? Uh, we have four dollars, it seems, so let's get Mother's Milk Latte. Our Mother's Milk Latte is made from the highest quality milk, from the highest quality cows, from the highest quality farms. The cow is brought up like royalty from birth, and before each milking is given a high quality spa treatment. Wow, that's per tradition in the ancient Himalayas. The milk it produces tastes like nectar straight from the flower. The very essence- Why would you want your milk to taste like flowers? Yeah, buy that. I'll buy that. What if she's lactose intolerant? I think I'll get that one with the cows. Ah, fine choice, my good man. One mother's milk latte coming right up. That'll be £2.50. $2.50, rather. I'll get the pumpkin spice latte, please. You got it, sweetheart. One pumpkin spice latte coming right on up. Okay, we're moving over to the table. Sir, how do you feel about meeting someone on OK Stupid? Um, It's my first time, actually. So I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I met a couple of guys on the site, but I don't know. We didn't really make a connection, you know? Uh, yeah, that happens. It's kind of hit or miss, you know? Yeah, sometimes I guess you just click with someone on the internet, but in person, I don't know. Something's missing, I guess. Yeah, this is going quite well. Um, I wouldn't know. I would- Yeah, I guess I wouldn't know. This is the first time I've met someone from the internet. Guess we'll find out today. Huh, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, here comes our drinks! Alright. Alright, I got one Mother's Milk Latte and one Pumpkin Spice Autumn Explosion for you guys. See, I feel- I felt like I should save a bit of money down there. Uh, thanks a lot, give tip. Um, yeah, let's give him a little tip. Thanks so much, here. A little something for the great service. Thank you so much, good sir. See, she'll think I'm real generous, generous now, even though I only have one dollar left. Wow, Trevor, that was really cool. <laughs> you know me. I mean, did you hear the way he described those beverages? That guy could sell anything. Yeah, this is going really well. So you told me online that you're studying English Lit, right? What made you pick that major? Um... I have a passion for literature. I got on an on athletic scholarship. So it didn't really matter which major I chose, but I picked English Lit because I honestly have a passion for old romantic literature. I mean, have you read Othello? Macbeth? The Odyssey? These books tap into the depths of what it means to be human. Wow, haha, <laughs> you really- Oh, look at this, she's leaning forward! I find that very attractive. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I just love it. I mean, it's some stuffy, nose-in-the-air stuff. Don't get me wrong, but I just love the way things are worded. Shakespeare was like a magician who could weave thoughts and words together into a beautiful tapestry which evoked the deepest of emotions, all with only quill and ink. My god, this is great. This is going so good. Oh shit, who's this? Yeah. Samantha? Jeff? Oh, jeez. Oh my god, I didn't even recognize you. Ha, huh, yeah, wow, it's so nice to see you. What is this? You look amazing. Ha, huh, yeah, you too. Uh... Yeah, I, I cleared my throat. Oh, sorry about that. I'm Jeff, an old friend of Samantha's. Ha, huh, I wouldn't say that old. And you are? Uh, yeah, let's shake... Yeah, shake hands and greet yourself. I'm Trevor, nice to meet you, Jeff. Pleasure's all mine. Literally, why would you, like, suddenly be, like, real angry and tell him to back off? Yeah, I just got back from teaching English! Oh, shit. Oh, really? That's really cool. Oh, no. I wouldn't call it cool. I mean, it doesn't pay the bills, but I'm giving back to the community. This is- this is horrendous! This cannot happen! Anyway, I'm afraid I have to go. I'm on a conference call with some of my business associates. We're planning to start a new non-profit for starving children in Uganda. Well, that's real cool, Jeff. We should meet up again soon, Samantha. Have a drink. You still have my number, I take it. You two have a lovely rest of your... date. 
Ha, thanks, Jeff. See you later. She didn't say yes. She didn't say less. See you, man. Good luck. Okay. All right. That, that's not ideal. That guy, he's really nice, but he's so conceited. Ah, yeah, I totally got that vibe. So, be honest with me. What are you looking for right now? Um. Oh, ah. Uh, uh. I'm looking for a- let's just be honest. To be honest, I'd really like to find that special someone. Life is flying by and well, it'd be great to have someone to share it with. Wow, really? Don't you think you're a bit young to settle into- jeez. Oh, I mean, we're just students. Um. <laughs> well, I don't- I don't think it's going to be you. Uh, yeah, you're never too- you're never too old, you're never too young. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, I see where you're coming from. I guess I'm just not like that. I mean, there's so many people out there. Yeah, I mean, I get I just- I just was brought up differently, I guess. I mean, my parents were high school sweethearts and have been together for 30 years. Wow, really? That's crazy. Good for them. Yeah, seeing that, it's hard not to believe in soulmates, you know? Yeah, it really makes you think. Excuse me, excuse me, does anyone have change? Oh, God. Um... Jeez. Do you think- do you think Samantha would want me to give the money? I feel like if I give the money... Someone else might come in, or something might come up, and I won't be able to give the dollar. Oh, veteran. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, don't talk to me first. No, excuse me, love birds. Can you spare any change? Um. Uh, I can't help you. Sorry, I just don't have any money. Sure you don't. Well, why was he not like that for anyone else? What? Okay, are you speaking from experience there, Homeless Joe? Have you been dating a lot of men? Not, not that there's anything wrong with that. What a fucking asshole. Piss off, you smelly jerk. Excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom. Be oh, shit, she's gonna run. Are you kidding me? You think you're manly with that beard? If that beard, ma beard makes you manly, I must be the manliest guy in the world, huh? Oh, God, she's gonna jump out the window. She's done a runner. She's not come back. Hmm, I wonder what's taking her so long. Oh. Uh, my. God. Well. <laughs> I gave it my best shot. We were very unlucky with love. Okay, I think that's all we've got time for today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Checkpoint and Chill, please let me know with a like and a subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you've got anything to talk about, to ask me about. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. This has been Steve. That has been Flicks and Chill. Checkpoint complete.